In this video, we're going to take a look at transitions in CSS. So transitions allow us to add an effect when we're changing from one style to another. So as you can see, I've got this basic HTML5 markup and we've got this style element. We've got a element with a class of container and we're setting the width and height. But when we hover over that container, we're going to change the width to 480 pixels. So I have four containers they each have a different background color. So let's just take a look at this in the browser. I'm just gonna refresh. And as you can see, when I hover over, we just get this pretty outrageous kind of styling happening. We go from a very thin width to a very large width. And that looks kind of not very aesthetically pleasing to the end user. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some transitions so we can actually transition from this width to this width over a given period of time with a certain effect. So let's add the transition. So we have the element that we're transitioning. In this case, we're going to do the width, the amount of time or the duration of the transition. I'm going to put 0.9 seconds, then the effect. There are a few effects, but we'll be using ease in out and then a delay. We can put a delay on the end there. I'm going to set it to zero seconds. Now, at the point of this recording, I believe Chrome's browser still needs the WebKit prefix. Just like that. So this will enable it for Google's Chrome browser. So let's save this and take a look in the browser. If we refresh, we can see that we're getting these styles applied over a specified period of time. It looks quite nice. So let's just have a look at delaying this. Let's have a delay of 0.3 seconds. Save that, and refresh. And we have a little bit of a delay when I hover over these elements. What we can also do if we have numerous properties that are changing, we can actually specify all. So it'll transition all properties over this given amount of time with this effect and with a certain delay. We can actually leave off this delay here if we want to specify no delay, just like that. There are certain properties that we can't transition, but I'll leave that up to you to find out on the internet. So by specifying all, we can transition a wide variety of properties over specified time and effect, or we can specify the property directly to transition it over a specified amount of time and a specified effect. 